Hello, this is Lee with Sword 5, doing my entry for the Shadow Gear Bite Contest. And this is my entry, Mantis Drone, and he is like a drone full in many respects. I actually just took the old design and revamped it a bit, but I did change him up a bit. I decided to give him a new theme, and uh, and I used to do Kung Fu, and so this guy is bi basically based off of what uh, what I observed in my Mantis Kung Fu, watching people in the Mantis Kung Fu studio. I was never really good, but the people that I watched, some of them were amazing. They've been doing it for like 10 years, and you know... The, and so, this is one of the weapons. If you watch Avatar, you recognize it as Zuko's weapon in the episode The Blue Spirit. And it is a double bladed sword. I, to make it more mantis like, I made it a double bladed dagger. And if you take this part off and reattach it here, then he can be kind of like a prey mantis. And, you know, just, like, it, like someone would, ah, crap. See, he's really poorly built. Well, not really poorly built, but there's a little thing back here that keeps on falling off. But, like, say someone thrust, uh, some kind of weapon here, he would pull it into his swords, then kick them, like that, the ab in the middle stomach somewhere. If they're really tall, I guess it'd be the shin. And so, yeah, that's him. And so, he's kind of a martial arts bite. He's a megabyte. And I guess you're probably wondering, well, he has to have his ammo's few in his eye, for his eye, and they don't see his few. Well, I thought that he looked kind of weird with his ammo spheal for an eye. Like, take this off now. See, I told you it happens a lot. And, see, you can see it right there. There actually is a Zamu Sphere there. But I said it looked a little bit, you know, weird. So, I added a bit of a little she uh, protection to it. That's, I guess that's, like, to give him better sight or to protect him or something. I don't know. So, basically, he is a but he's a megabyte that has been programmed, that has been upgraded past the normal byte level, and programmed with d uh, different kung, uh, kung Fu Mantis moves. And so, let's get him in a better pose. So, yeah, that's him. And shad and I'm putting this as a response to video shadow you. But if you're actually going to consider making me one of the ten winners, and you need a picture of my guy, I will, I guess I... Comment under this video, and I guess I'll create a Mac Pages page or something. Bye. It's Leo Stood Five back again, and you know I ended the video, and I decided that I didn't really give you much basis for grading this guy, and we're seeing if he was going to be on the winners. And so here's basically him from the. Gr I'm going to be stealing a bit of a shadow you thing from the ground up. So you can see, you know, nothing special, the basic foot do. Then two studs stuck onto a Vaki thing. And then, this is one second, I put two of those modified hand pieces together. Then use one of these black pieces right here and a little, uh, new chest armor right there. 
to create the upper thigh, or basically the thigh. Then the stomach is really just a bunch of little these pieces going up this way. Then a Xamos field built into the body frame right here. Then we get a Burak tooth right here. Then going down the arms, some gears behind there. Uh, what's it called? Um, uh, Rakshi limb. And then, you know, the swords, I already talked about that. Underneath them, you can see the little device for him holding them. And the Burak tooth. And so right here, his head, uh, you can see the two drawers behind there. It's basically a Xamosphere holder with this thingy in front. And two little lights on each side. Go on the back here, you can kind of see... As I said, the drawers and a little stud. Stud on the side. So yeah, that's basically him. Hope that you choose me, Shadow Goo.